Hey guys, it's me, Will Patterson here again, and here is a simple tutorial. Now, there was a sort of a Channel 4 thing, that uh, TV show that was called Blackout, where everything in the UK has no electricity, basically it's a massive blackout, uh, and how it's basically a drama documentary slash, yeah, documentary thing, uh, and it's a, a really cool program, and it had this sort of text effect on it, which was uh, pretty interesting, and... Uh, I thought I might as well show people how to do it because it is actually easier than it looks. And this isn't the finished product. Obviously, you'll need to bring it into Photoshop and do other things with it, uh, like make it more rough than that. But um, no, I'm going to show you how to do it right now in Illustrator. So the next, so the first thing you need to do, sorry, is go to a new document. Uh, I pressed Command N for that, and then I've chose 500 pixels, 500, just a preference. Then I'm going to change the name of this layer to BG for background. Press Enter. And then with this, I'm just going to go up here and choose my rectangle tool, or you can press M. And then I've got my smart guides turned on. To get them turned on, go to smart guides or view, then down to smart guides like so, and that will turn them on, or you could just press Command U for short. Um, right, and I'm going to go up to here at the top, press my smart guides, put them, hopefully put them on, if they aren't already on. And it should just snap into place like so, with the smart guides turned on. And then I'm just going to press this button down here to swap fill and stroke. I'm going to take off the uh, white fill with nothing. And then with the black one, I'm just going to um, put this to the front. I'm going to change the color of this to make it properly black uh, for print. So I'm going to choose 50, 50, 50 after double clicking on the swatch. Press global and that will change it to a proper black like so. Awesome. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lock that layer so you can't touch it and add a new one and add text now this is a really easy thing you might be wondering why i'm doing this but you know i wanted to start an easy illustrated tutorials from any beginners to do a cool text effect um so here's how you do it i'm going to just type in blackout uh blackout like so press command and enter to make sure it's fine there press shift and alt to expand it out and then i'm going to um, change the fill so if we just uh, yeah so we change the fill to white and that will change it to white there and we're gonna go and change the font now I've got my character menu up here and the way I did that was pressing command T it's just an easier way of me getting to my fonts uh, and then I'm going to type in Helvetica everyone should have this and that's basically it but what you need to do is press on this uh, button down here you have loads of options here uh, here we have all caps so all caps is all good there just press that and it will turn it all into capital letters. And then because we selected this, we're going to go into our align options. We can either go down here or up here. I'm going to go down here. And then we're going to press align horizontally and then align vertically. And this aligns it to the artboard. So make sure it's right in the center. And then I'm going to highlight this again. I'm going to change this from regular to bold. And then I'm going to make it smaller like so. Like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to object. Um, path, no, wait, is it object? No, type is it? Yeah, you type create outlines, or you can press shift command and O, which will do it. And this turns this editable, the live editable text, into a shape layer. Uh, so then you can properly center it to your board, and also you can make some adjustments to it. Right now, all that's missing to create this text effect really is the fact that we just have this white, what's called a stroke on the back. So all we need to do with this is we need to press this button down here. And this one's swap fill and stroke. Because right now it's filled, we need to change the fill to a stroke. So we can either press this button or you can go shift and X whilst, sorry, whilst highlighting it, go shift and X. And that will change it to a stroke. So we have no fill as you can see and we have a white stroke. So like so. Uh, then you can bring the stroke weight up like that. And then you can change the corner joints or the way that it looks. So I'm going to choose a round to make it look cool, uh, a bit more, you know, not so straight lined at the end. Then also what you can do is you can play around with the whites. So with my stroke, I'm just going to get to my stroke. You can choose a darker color if you wanted to, or maybe just a darker gray, and it should be in your swatches panel, and you can just, when you're highlighted in it, you can just click them. Also, to make it a bit more rugged, you can go to effect, uh, distort transform, roughen, and what this is, it's over here. It comes up with a little window, press preview all the time, press preview and you'll see this weird thing going on. Um, I would change the size to one, 
uh, tab it down, change it from relative to absolute, bring it down and change this to about, let's say 30, no, about 12, let's see what that looks like. No, 50, 50, get it up. Can we do 0.5? Yeah, we can. And then change this back down to 30. Looks cool. Corner, we could smooth it. Do smooth. I press OK. Then we have a text there, and it's got an effect on it called Ruffin. And that looks cool. So we're going to do Object, Expand Appearance, and that expands the whole text effect. So there's no effect in there. Now, what we have is when we zoom right in, is some cool uh, rough text effect. And that is how you create the blackout. Um, text effect that's on channel four at the moment i hope you enjoyed this uh, if you did you leave a like in the description uh, like in the box underneath um also we've got a description box sorry not a description box but a comment box go and comment there have fun see you in the next video goodbye